Hey guys, it's Jessie here back with another video and today I've got the sweater weather tag. Um, it's just a tag video that's been going around on YouTube. I've seen it a ton of places. Um, nobody actually tagged me because no one on YouTube really knows me, but it looked like fun. It's kind of a fall tag. Um, we're definitely well into fall now, so I thought I would do it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize. I'm sure you guys can hear that whirring sound in the background. That's actually my bread machine. Um, I'm well into baking and things for Thanksgiving, which is the day after tomorrow, so sorry about that. I'm sure it's driving you all crazy. Hopefully you don't mind. Um, it's the only time I really have to film. I can't put off my Thanksgiving prep anymore. I'm cooking for 13 people, so there's that. Just try to ignore it. If it's too bad, I won't upload this video, so you'll never hear this. Anyways, um, the questions are over here, here, on my computer, so if you see me looking that way, that's where I'm looking. So, yeah. First question is, favorite candle scent? Now, I'm not really a candle girl. Um, I don't have a ton of candles, but I am a huge fan of wax warmers and wax tarts and wax cubes. So my favorite wax cube scent is this Sensational's Pumpkin Latte. Um, this has definitely been my favorite for fall so far. It smells like coffee and pumpkin, which are the two things that are my favorite things about fall. So, of course, putting them together in a scent is, you know, perfect for fall. Um, sorry, the sound of my bread machine is really distracting me. Um, smells really good, really permeates the house. Um, I, that's what I like most about these wax cubes as compared to candles is they just... The scent throw seems to be bigger, and they're a lot less expensive. These are like $2 a piece for these little wax cubes. Um, so that's why I prefer them, but love this scent. Question number two, coffee, tea, or hot chocolate? Um, all of the above. I love my coffee. I do not go a day without coffee. I drink coffee every morning. Um, so coffee in the morning, tea in the afternoon. I love green tea. Um, especially, I like black tea. Um, I like herbal teas, like different flavored herbal teas. Um, tea in general, big fan. And hot chocolate at night, I love hot chocolate too. Oh, usually only this time of year and into the holidays. Um, especially peppermint hot chocolate, which I think my husband's going to take me out for tonight to Tim Hortons, which is my favorite coffee place, and get me some peppermint hot chocolate. So, or candy cane hot chocolate, I guess is what it's called. Really excited about that. So yeah, all of the above. I can't go without any of those. Um, yeah. Question number three is, what's the best fall memory you have? Um, all of my favorite fall memories tend to center around Halloween, um, taking my kids trick-or-treating, that sort of thing, and of course Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. I always cook. Um, I invite lots of people over. Uh, this year, like I said, I'm cooking for a total of 13. Um, I love to cook. I love the sentiment behind Thanksgiving. I love a day to be thankful. I think everyone should be thankful all year, but having a day to remind us to be thankful for everything that we have is really amazing. So definitely Thanksgiving, Halloween, anytime I can be with my family. Um, yeah. Which makeup trend do you prefer? Dark lips or winged liner? Definitely in the fall. Um, dark lips. I wear winged liner kind of all year, but I definitely pull out the darker lip colors in the fall. Um, I didn't really bring any to, out here to show you except this one, which I just featured in my monthly favorites. This is the Slick Tint from Avon in the color Glossy Wine. It's what I'm wearing on my lips now. It's just a really deep wine color. It's my favorite. I love berries. I love reds in the fall, so definitely dark lips versus winged eyeliner, which I kind of wear all year round. Um, best fragrance for fall, that would be the Bath & Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist in Honey Autumn Apple. I got this last year. I kind of use it all year round, but especially in the fall. It just smells so good. A little bit sweet. Um, very much an apple scent. Honey Autumn Apple, I mean, it was created for this time of year. It smells so good. Um, 
in general, I'm not a big fan of Bath & Body Works. I feel like their products are really overpriced. Um, I don't really get the hype behind them. But I did manage to catch this on sale, so I paid like $7 for it instead of $14, which still is ridiculous for a body mist in my opinion. But this one smells so good, so I think it's worth it. Um, and it's going to take me forever to get through this. I've had this for a full year now, and I've only used that much, so... Definitely my favorite scent for fall. Love it. Um, favorite Thanksgiving food? I am a huge fan of my mom's stuffing, which unfortunately I'm not making this year. I just, I'm not going to have enough time, so I'm just using stovetop, which isn't nearly as good. But I love my mom's recipe for stuffing. Um, for those of you that don't know, she passed away last year, so... I love it even more now because of the memories behind it, you know, her teaching me how to make it and all that. But um, other than that, I love um, the sweet potatoes with the mini marshmallows, my favorite. I always make way more than I need to because I'm really the only one in my family that really loves it. So there's always leftovers and that's fine by me because it's my fave. Um, what's the autumn weather like where you live? Well, right now there's a tiny bit of snow on the ground and it's like 25 degrees um, usually it gets very very cool especially at night it drops down into the 30s usually 20s and 30s um, it's been especially cold this year it seems like but maybe I'm just in denial about how cold it gets here in the fall um, windy kind of dreary um, fall at the beginning of fall when all the leaves are changing colors and everything and there's a nice crisp feeling in the air. I love it, but getting towards the end of fall when it's getting into winter, it's really dreary and kind of blah, which is kind of how it is today, which is why the lighting in this video is so terrible, but um, yeah, chilly to cold, um, definitely sweater weather, um, coat weather as of right now. It's freezing outside. Um, must have nail polish this fall. I'm going to talk to you about a couple of different shades, um, and I have a few different kind of choices if you will. Um, I really love the kind of rust coppery colors in the fall. Um, I brought three out, three different ones out here to show you. So this is Revlon's Copper Penny. It's just a metallic copper shade. This is China Glaze Harvest Moon. Again, kind of a rust coppery color. I love this color. It's orangey brown, kind of like the changing leaves outside, perfect for fall. And this one, which I haven't had a chance to wear yet, but I can't wait, is Zoya's Channing. So beautiful. And the other shade I really, really love in the fall is kind of cranberry wine colors. So this is the Maybelline Express Finish color in on the rum. So it's kind of a deep red burgundy wine color. This one's a little bit brighter. This is Broadway Burgundy from NYC. And this is Elf's Cranberry. So really, really beautiful kind of red color. I love this color on my lips in the fall as well. It's just a fantastic shade. Um, also, I love deep navy blues. This is um, the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in the color Night Watch. Really nice. Um, football games or jumping in leaf piles? Neither. I'm not really a fan of football games. I loved football games in high school when I would go to my high school football games, but now not really interested in sitting in the freezing cold on bleachers watching a football game and definitely not interested in playing because I have no athletic ability whatsoever. And jumping into leaf piles just sounds like a lot of work raking all those leaves up to begin with and then sounds like a mess, so neither. I guess I'm a party pooper. Um, skinny jeans or leggings, definitely skinny jeans. Um, I like leggings too, they're really comfortable, but I don't tend to go out in them. Um, but I wear skinny jeans every single day, I love them. I love being able to tuck them into boots. Really easy, I think it's a flattering cut for me. I don't like the super, super skinny, skin tight ones. Just like a, a slim leg, you know, I like them. Combat boots or Uggs. Definitely combat boots. I hate Uggs. Combat boots win by default. Um, I'm sure that Uggs are really, really comfortable and nice and warm and would probably be fantastic for the Michigan winters, but I just cannot stand the way they look. So, definitely combat boots. I like the look. I like the kind of rough and tough 
that's my bread machine again, sorry, um, vibe to them. I'm actually in the market for a pair of combat boots, so if you guys know of any that are affordable and cute, link them down below for me. I'd love to check them out, or, you know, tell me where I can find them. Um, let's just go ahead and wait for that to finish. <laughs> sorry. Um, is pumpkin spice worth the hype? I love... Are you done now? I think it's done now. Sorry, you guys. Um, is pumpkin spice worth the hype? I love anything pumpkin flavored, pumpkin scented, pumpkin colored. Um, pumpkin's my favorite, so absolutely it's worth the hype. Um, I don't like Starbucks, so their pumpkin spice latte, I have no idea if it's any good. But I love the Tim Hortons. Um, anything from Tim Hortons with a shot of pumpkin in it is amazing. Tim Hortons over Starbucks, for sure, all the way. Um, favorite fall TV show, I'm really into Grey's Anatomy right now, um, Glee, Supernatural, those are my top three, love. Um, what song really gets you into the fall spirit? Honestly, I don't really have any song connotations that are linked with fall in my mind, um, so whatever's on the radio, I guess. Um. It's not like Christmas for me where I have a certain Christmas song that I listen to and it gets me in the mood for Christmas. There's not really any song that I can think of that's linked to fall, so I don't know, unless maybe like a Halloween song or something, but that gets me in the mood for Halloween, not really necessarily fall, so I don't really have an answer for that one. Sorry, you guys. And that was actually the last um, question for the sweater weather tag, so sorry to kind of end on a downer. Um, if you would like to do the sweater weather tag and you haven't done so already, I feel like everybody's already done it, but if you haven't, I tag you. I would love to see it. Um, I don't think that YouTube really does video responses anymore. I'm not really sure. Ever since they partnered with Google or whatever, it's kind of hard to know what's going on, but, um, you know, leave me a comment below and let me know that you did it. I'd love to see it. Um, yeah, that's the sweater weather tag. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Sorry about the distractions. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye, everyone.